Welcome to Sylvan Beach. We're walking to what we call the Forbidden Zone. It's part of the Vashon Island Land Trust. And here we find a beautiful specimen that we're gonna eat tonight, crudo. It's called an empire clam, or sometimes known as a horse clam or a gaper clam. And it's very much like a gooey duck, a little bit smaller. And let's dig into one now so we can dig in one tonight on our plate. I think that's one right there. We're gonna give it a shot. Sometimes the neck is right up at the level of the sand. Um, see it now, I've excavated about a foot down. They're usually about 18 to 24 inches down. Not as deep as gooey ducks, and it's looking right at us. Let's see if we can go get it. Hey, I think we're gonna get it now, okay? So you can see, here's where it is. He's, I can still see, there it is, look at that guy. Oh, and I can feel the shell. I, I just gotta root it out of here. Oh, boy, okay, let's keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. Wow, there it is. There's one, that's a little guy, but that might be, there's a little more meat in there than you think. That neck kind of extends in there. And we don't need that much to make a really awesome appetizer, but that's a small guy. I might try to get one more. And this one is also not super big, but as I said, Aww. there's a decent amount of meat in there. We're gonna have a nice antipasta for you. hanging out in the gut of these guys. It's okay. So these can live for 160 years. That's about the time. This could have been alive when Abraham Lincoln was alive. Oh boy. So sad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is Friday, by the way. So, of course, it's a Friday night pizza smackdown at one of my favorite pizzerias. Or solo mio pizza, da Mario, on fashion. Mm -hmm. See you back at the beach. So I've rinsed these off, and we want to remove this part here so we can enjoy this part on the inside. So to do that, we're gonna dunk it in some hot water just real quickly, and that's gonna allow that skin to come off. We're not cooking it, we're not blanching it, it's just enough heat to loosen up that skin. So you can see that that has allowed this skin to kind of pull right off. You just kind of have to work it off a little bit. And sometimes I grab a knife and I kind of get a little start and then that helps to kind of loosen it up a little bit more. And you just kind of work at it and you can see it's coming right off. It's gonna be nice and clean and beautiful to work with. And then what I tend to do is if I get some parts that I'm just not happy with, I'll just kind of do some, some trimming here and there just so that I can get to a really nice piece of meat that we can enjoy. So now the outer skin has been peeled off and you can see what we have here. Just some wonderful clam to work with here. And I'm kind of scrubbing it with a little bit of salt water. And then I'm gonna give it a quick rinse. And then we're gonna be ready to prepare our antipasta. So I'm slicing this kind of as thin as I can, not necessarily paper thin. And you can almost see the nerves kind of reacting to it as it kind of curls up a little bit. And we're gonna fill a plate of this very delightful, firm, sweet meat that has a little scent of the sea. Now it's time to grub. We polished off some oysters, and now we're gonna dress this empire clam, also known as a horse clam, or a gaper clam, with a little bit of olive oil, nice olive oil, and some kosher salt. And this is wonderful, just like this. I remember sitting down one time, with my cousin Frank and my uncle Tim, and their expectations were super low on this, and they had this and they loved it. It's a lot like, gooey duck, kind of more like a 
poor man's gooey duck. Let's take a look. Oh, it's crisp, it's clean. It's got a sweetness and a kiss of the sea. It's totally humble. You will not find this in the store. So get out on the Puget Sound Beach, get a shovel, get a license, and dig yourself some of these. It's totally worth it. Thanks a lot for joining Casa Fiori's Cucina. Ciao.